Borwe supports students with hearing impairment at Mampong. Borwe Ghana has donated ICT devices and equipment worth 125,000 Ghana cities to facilitate the teaching and learning of students living with hearing loss at the Mampong Aquapam Senior High Technical School in the Eastern Region. The items donated to the school included 7 HD projectors to facilitate digital teaching, 2 pieces of 65 inches television sets, 2 sets of public address system, 20 desktop computers and 20 pairs of office desks and chairs. The donation forms part of company's commitment to promote inclusive education for all at all levels. The gesture was aimed at giving the hearing impaired students at Mampong at Quapam an opportunity to enhance their skills with more practical learning experience. It will also seek to facilitate the overall teaching and learning processes of the school. Speaking during the ceremony, the Director of Public and Government Affairs at Wawi Ghana, Mrs. Jenny Zhu, mentioned that as a company, Wawi prioritizes social contributions geared towards ICT and education in general and added that the company will continue to consciously invest more in such initiatives. She disclosed that Wawi is currently working with UNESCO and the Ministry of Education through the Ghana Education Service GES and partners in Ghana to implement the pilot of the technology-enabled open school system, TOS, through which robust systems that can connect schools and home-based learning at the basic school level are being built, to ensure the continuity and quality of learning under normal or crisis situations. I am happy to say that we have included the Akrapong School for the Blind or the Visually Impaired as we like to call it, as part of the first beneficiaries for the project and our team of engineers and project coordinators from Huawei, UNESCO, GES and Sandlowers, have visited the school for a comprehensive assessment and site survey, she noted. According to her, Huawei's just ended seeds for the future women in tech program also for the first time in Ghana, also saw the successful participation of a female student with a hearing impairment who impressively emerged as one of the top scorers and best participants during the training. Mrs. Zhu encouraged the students to avoid being defined by any predicament and never give up in pursuing their dreams as there are endless and equal opportunities out there for all. The Deputy Minister of Education, Reverend Tim Forger, commended Huawei and other supporting companies like Meenergy Technologies and Greenhouse International for their benevolence. According to him, between 2017 and 2020, a total of 2009 infrastructure projects were initiated by His Excellency Nana Addo Dankwa Kifo Addo's government, out of which 70% has since been completed and handed over with the rest at various other stages of completion, and as such the gesture by the three companies is a step in the right direction. He therefore called on other corporate players to also augment on the effort government is putting in place to provide support for special students in education to ensure that every child in Ghana has an equal access to quality education. The Eastern Regional Minister, Seth Kwame Archiampong, commended Huawei, Meenergy Technology and Greenhouse International for supporting them in the delivery of their community service to the students and management of Mampong Aquapam Senior High Technical School for the Deaf. He encouraged the students to learn more and enjoy the nurturing they are being given as disability is no disadvantage in our local community today. Niyagana, Accra.